she's back with a vengeance. Rick Baker did the first two of these, and Rick passed this on to Arian, who is the perfect man for this job. We looked at a lot of reference from the first Samara in the first ring, and even though she's played by a different girl, we still tried to make her uh, makeup look the same. Her hair is a little longer, but other than that, she looks exactly the same. My work, of course, involves only to a certain s stage of, of sculpting and making all the pieces, but then there's another aspect of it, and that's the person that has to bring it to life. In this case, that's Bonnie Morgan. Dun, dun, dun! Taking over the role of Samara is epic. I get to be the monster. We were looking for Samara, I remember, during casting, and, and she played Samara in the second ring as her stun double. I actually was Samara in the well sequence of the ring part two. I originated the now famous crab walk, or spider crawl, as it's called, the, the chase after Naomi Watts. and can do things with her body that, that are insane. Mm. You know, put her leg in front of her head and creepy stuff. So in combination with that makeup, it's spooky. And I remember in the shop back in about three months ago, we did the first test makeup on Bonnie. And Bonnie's about five foot while she was on. So she actually looks like a little girl, but then when she does the actual spider walk and she does all that crazy stuff that she does, I think everybody in the shop was a little spooked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it, you're not quite not sure what you're looking at. Uh, and then it starts crawling over the floor. It's great, yeah. That really, really freaks you out. Part of the challenge is being that little girl, being an aggressive, scary, ghosty little girl. losing all of this and becoming that vengeful child. Creating Samara's look uh, takes a long time. The, the time that's involved from, I think, from building it was about seven weeks to, to if not longer. The wig is individually tied, so that took a long time. It took about a month and a half, actually, for one wig. Um, and then every. All the pieces are sculpted and molded and carefully cast, and so they fit Bonnie's head, basically to give the features of a younger, of a young child, basically. And she's completely covered uh, in prosthetics. She's, uh, she's in a chair for quite a bit. It is a long makeup process for Samara to be close up, detail ready. It really is a seven hour process. In the makeup chair itself, it's a combination of the prosthetics and makeup. So we paint her a certain sheen, like a light sheen with heavy kind of like veining and dark shadows, which kind of shine through when we put the prosthetics on top and we completely cover, they kind of come through so you get that get that translucent look. OK, so there's a wig cap and a bold cap. 
You have the ears. Then we put on the neck piece. Face starts coming on. We have the chin, the nose and lip, cheeks, and the forehead. And the forehead gives Samara that kind of melancranial look that kids have, that slightly larger head. We have six appliances on each arm. One, two, three, four, five, six. We've got top of the hand, palm. Two sides of the lower arm, two sides of the upper arm. We also have 10 finger caps, one for each finger that gives Samara the look that her fingernails have been torn off, as they were when she tried to escape from the well. The skin is saturated and soggy. The legs have six, no, seven. Seven appliances on each leg. Top of the foot, bottom of the foot, the shin, the calf, the knee, the thigh, and the back of the leg. So let's see. We've got 14, 12. That gives us 26. Fingers make 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. 41, 42, 43, 44, contact lenses, and the wig. 45 appliances. But who's counting, right? It is a long process. And then we dress her with some KY, and we have tubing uh, uh, built that kind of would connect to a pump that would run water over it. So you see her dripping as she's walking. So that makes her extra uh, transparent. So you can see all the beautiful paintwork that we did underneath. So that, that works really cool. It's a lot of work, but it pays off in the end. When I walk onto the set, I am downright slimy. I am leaving slimy little footprints everywhere I go. Most of my life on set is spent face down, crawling out of an inky little puddle covered in slime. She's not just a simple one-dimensional boogeyman. We know her history, and if we had the same history, we'd be just as pissed off. Samara lives on. Stop! A little girl. It won't stop. Who can't be stopped. Julia? 